Hi everyone, Sarah here. I am super excited to share with you today the first video of a six video series that I will be sharing um, with die cuts and more for the Stampaholic tool. I have been asked by Mansi to make some videos to share with you guys and I'm super super excited about it. There will be a giveaway also at the end of the six videos so please stay tuned keep watching um, the details for the giveaway if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel for die cuts and more and leave a comment on the videos also like the Facebook page and join the Facebook group so I will have all the links and details for those down below um, you don't want to miss out and yeah that is pretty much it so this is the original Stampaholic tool the original size um, I will be also showing you the Nano, the Stampaholic Nano, which is super exciting to do smaller cards. So this week what I wanted to, um, to do with you is layered stamps. So I have this Altenew Vintage Roses stamp set, which is very beautiful, very detailed, and very hard to stamp. <laughs> So this stamping tool, the Stampaholic, makes it so much easier and I am going to show you a way that you can stamp your stamps with this in a three step. There's some of them that are four steps, which you can do, but I do the, uh, the three steps and I show you how to do each of the steps in each of the corners so that you don't have to take your stamps off and you can make multiple. So I'll show you. These are ones that I have left over from my project that I made. So all of the same roses and I just stamped them all in succession so that I had a lot of them and I didn't have to uh, stop, put the stamp away, get out another one, all of that. And I'm going to show you guys my card and then you will, you can um, watch the process that's attached. So here's my gorgeous card. Love it. It turned out so, so pretty. Um, basically it is just a white card base with 110 pound um, white card stock from Recollections. I did put a patterned piece of paper underneath this brown that I um, edged with Distress Ink. It was um, Gathered Twigs Distress Ink around the edge. And then I layered on top this die cut which is um, one that I picked up at a garage sale from Paper Tray Ink. Just this here. So um, cover plate circles. I added that on the top for some interest. And this is an MFT scalloped oval for the background. This lovely die is from Heidi Swap right here. And then these are the roses. I did add in some, some leaves that I stamped. I don't show that in the process video. I'm just showing you the basics of the three steps using the rose stamps. Um, and then I added some Wink of Stella on the roses. And then on the inside, I did add an extra rose and some leaves and stamped my sentiment, which that is also on my process video because that is um, the main reason why I purchased a Stampaholic tool was to stamp my sentiments because I have such issues with that. And I don't like to ruin my cards because that's the last thing that I do. All right, so please take a look and don't forget to read all the details down below and check out Die Cuts and More and the Stampaholic. All right, bye. Okay, so to get started, we have our Stampaholic tool. We have our three colors of ink in light, medium, dark. I have some pieces of paper that I have pre-cut to three by two and a half. And then I also have my stamp set that I've picked, which I'm using the Vintage Roses, Roses from Altenew. Okay, so on my piece of paper, I have an arrow marked in the corner, and that is so that I know that needs to go in the corner. I've already set up my first layer of stamps here, and I will just show you. I'm gonna ink them up. So you're placing these ones based on where you want the stamps to go on the first, the first round. Okay, so then the next step is you're going to take it and rotate it into this corner. 
And then what we're gonna do is I have a piece of acetate from the stamp set, and I'm just going to use this to help place where I want my stamps to go. So I'm just putting it in the corner here so it doesn't move. And you're going to take your next stamp and just line it up on top of your stamped image. That way you're going to get perfect placement. And then the next one gets lined up right there. So then you're going to bring your lid over and gently press and pull your acetate off. And that is in the next spot. So then we're going to take the next color of ink, ink these two up, and bring them over and stamp them down. Just going to do this one a little bit more on that edge. Oh, that is the wrong color of ink. Sorry, grabbed the wrong one there. Keep your stamp chamois close by so that you can clean off your stamps and also clean off the lid there whenever some gets on. There you go. Every time you do do another layer, it makes it a little bit darker, though, so you just have to keep that in mind. You may have to stamp again on your next one. So the third is lined up at the top of your ruler here. Okay. So again, I'm going to put down my piece of acetate and I'm going to get my third layer of stamp and line it up. Just like that. And then bring your lid over, press gently, and pull off your acetate. So then we're gonna get our third color of ink and just ink up these two stamps. And stamp it over. And there you go. Two roses all done. So then, now that you have them all set up in your three stations, you're going to take another piece of paper, mark your corner just so you remember. You don't have to, but for me, I just find it easier to do that. Then I'm going to ink up my first one, bring it over, move it to the second one, just Make sure you're grabbing the right inks. <laughs> Ink up my second one. Bring it over. Oh, I forgot my magnet, but it did not move, so we are good. And then we're going to ink up the third one. And bring it over. Ta-da! And you can just keep going and going and make more and more and more. If you wanted to, you could set up a fourth one, depending on your stamps, if you want to do the fourth layer or not. And you could set up your stamps there and do it. But now that we have these, we can just fussy cut them out and then I will be right back. Okay, so the last step to my card and the main reason why I needed a stamping tool <laughs> is for sentiments. So I have my card in here um, for the inside. And I put a couple of the magnets on and I'm just using the happy anniversary sentiment from the stamp set. And I'm just going to kind of center it there first, just to begin with. And I'm gonna bring my lid over and now that it's over here, I have the grid lines so I can see if my sentiment is straight. And actually, it is not too bad at all. Can I just bring this end just down a little bit? Like that. And then I want to get 
So my ink, and I use the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black. Ink it up. And we're gonna bring it over, and it's upside down. Let's not stamp that. <laughs> okay, I know that that's center, so I'm gonna do this. How's that look? Yeah, that's better. See why I have the stamping tool? <laughs> okay. And just to be safe, I want to clean off the edges just because my card is in there and there's extra layers. And then I'm going to press it down. Beautiful. And if you want to do a second one, I haven't stamped this one before, so it's a pretty new clean stamp there. Just going to bring it over. Press it down. Ta-da! There we go. There's my sentiment inside of my card. All right, please leave a comment, subscribe. Um, check out all the details below for the giveaway that we'll be having. And remember to come back every two weeks to see the next videos. Have a great day.